Hi guys, it's Connie here from Say It With Simplicity. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I like to do Silhouette Studio tutorials. I also like to use different software to create SVG files. I, I use Adobe Illustrator and Inkscape and I'm somewhat familiar with Sure Cuts a lot, but I use Silhouette Studio the most often and I really think that it's a powerful program. And of course for those of you that own a Silhouette, I'm sure you're glad when you can find ways to do the things that you want to do inside this program. So I had a question from a viewer, um, Darlene, and I thank you for that question, Darlene. But her question was, how do we add the circles inside the design to look like tiny holes or hearts inside the design? And this was in response to how to make a scalloped circle with inside Silhouette Studio or in Silhouette Studio. And so I wanted to come on and I think I understand what she's asking here. And I wanted to show you a couple things that I thought would be fun today. And I hope this answers the question that Darlene had. Sometimes it's fun if you're making cars or something to have sort of that uh, little bit of a doily look with these scallop circles. And so I thought I'd try to um, answer the question in the best way that I know how. So let's get started here. And first of all, um, I'm just showing the scalloped circle here. Um, we can just set that off to the side here. But I also have some fancier scalloped circles. And these are really simple to make, guys. You don't want to miss this. Um, these are fun things. Um, I have a scalloped circle also here that has some little hearts cut out of it. And um, I'm also going to make one with a little bit of fancy trim around the edge. So we're going to get started here by creating a two inch circle. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that you can use the ellipse, draw an ellipse tool. And if you hold down your shift key, you can make a perfect circle. And you can use your drag, um, drag these handles out here. But you can also resize your circle by going up here. And um, there's this little lock button. If you're going to keep your proportions here, you can lock that. And you can make that circle like any size you want. So I'm just going to type in here on my keypad and now I change that to a one and three quarter inch circle. So you just basically mouse over or highlight this and make your circle any size you want. Another thing that I wanted to show you before we get started at this is what is a compound path and the best way I know how to show you that is let's just, I'm going to grab both of these and I'm going to hold down my Alt key and just drag out a copy of them. And let's just, for right now, I'm going to make these larger so you can see what's going on here. And let's just change this to a, um, let's change it to purple. And I'm going to, this is on top, I'm going to move that into the inside of my circle here. And now I'm going to mouse over both of these. And I'm going to align center and align middle so that that's my heart is in the middle of my circle there. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a compound path. So now what was two shapes become one shape and I could change two different fill colors. And 
and um, I can also use this when I replicate it to create my scallop circle. So let's go ahead and delete that. And I have my little heart here that I made. And I have this. Let's change this one to white. And nothing's going to, well, let's just change it to, sorry about that, um, gray. You'll be able to see it better. We'll align those. And we'll make our compound path. Now, I'm not worried about size right now. I'm just kind of doing this for demonstration purposes. You can play around with this and make these the size you want. But I'm going to go ahead now, and you can see that that changed so that this is a bumped out. If I put that over my circle, you can see that the middle is bumped out there. Let's change that back to no fill. And let's go to our replicate panel. And I'm going to put my object on path. And that's this little uh, circle with some dots around it and a dot in the middle. And I want to put the object on path. So the replicate panel is this little, I don't know, um, this, this tool on the right, it says open the replicate panel when you mouse over it. Um, and so let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to click on show grab handle. Let's show the grab handle. And I'm going to just drag this down until I meet my circle. And you can see that, you can see that this starts to replicate. So I only have six copies, and I want these to overlap. And so I'm just going to start clicking up until I get to, let's see, I think I, let's just try 22 copies. I can mouse over and enter that. And that looks like it's pretty good. I don't want my circles to overlap and, um, fill in my hearts and now I'm going to release my copies and now if I welded this together now I'd still have that circle in the middle so I want to remove that I'm going to click into that and remove my circle and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mouse over all of this and click Weld. And now you can see that I have sort of a scallop circle, but I still have this cutout area in the middle. Now remember, we made that compound path. We can also release a compound path. So I'm going to right-click on this, release the compound path. And you can see that I have this middle part. I'm going to remove that. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make my compound path again. And you can see now that I have that. I can delete that. And now I have a scalloped circle with all my little hearts around the outside. And I could make those hearts inside that circle, you know, before I replicate it any size I want, if I wanted to make them smaller, or larger, or whatever, you know. So that's just one way to do that. I mean, I'm sure there's probably other ways, but I think this is an easy enough way to do that inside of our Silhouette Studio. Okay, so maybe we, we have our scallop circle and we'd like to put some hearts maybe more towards the center of it rather than all along the outside. So let's go to our setup panel and let's show guides, snap to guides, and let's turn our ruler on. And we're going to pull out these snap to guides. I'm going to pull in that one from the side. Let's pull one down from the top. 
and let's just line this up in the center and you can see that my little center of rotation is on you can turn that off and on by hitting your O key on your keyboard and let's find our heart and let's bring it down sort of towards the center and now if I click into it I can bring down my center of rotation and it'll snap to my center and remember my, this is centered and now my heart and its center of rotation is centered and now let's go to that replicate panel again and I want to do this advanced replicate and let's do I want to end up with 10 copies um, but this one counts as a copy so I'm going to put 9 at 36 degrees and now I'm going to replicate and that's going to put my little hearts all around this center and they all rotated around that center of rotation and now if I select all of this I can go ahead and I can make my compound path and now I have all my little hearts around the center of my scallop circle. So that was a kind of a fun little exercise too. Let's go back up here and I'm going to just turn off my snap to guides and my ruler. And let's do one more before we leave here today. Let's go ahead and we're going to take our circle, our two inch circle, and we're going to take a couple of smaller circles. And let's just line these up. Let's make sure this one is on the right top, the little one. And we could do a compound path or we could go to object, modify, subtract. And you can see that that is kind of a donut now. And then so it would kind of work the same way if I did the make compound path. But let's go ahead and go to our, I'm going to turn off my center of rotation by pressing O on my keyboard and go to our replicate panel again and we're going to go back to this object on path and we're going to show the grab handle and we're going to drag this over to our circle and it starts to replicate and let's just go up until we have these sort of overlapping this is this little number of repeats and there we have 22 copies now let's go ahead and mouse over all of these or I could release these copies now it's okay if I have this circle here we're gonna do it with that and we're gonna do it without so let me make a copy of this I'm gonna hold down alt and I'm just whoops I'm gonna select all of this I'm going to hold down alt and just make a copy of that and let's go to weld and we're going to weld all of this and you can see you have kind of a neat doily effect here and now with this one I'm going to remove the circle select all of that with my mouse and weld and then let's release the compound path grab the center 
and then go back over this and make compound path. And there you have one that just has the circles punched out around the outside. So really a different look depending on which way you did it. So let's get um, rid of some of this extra stuff. And so you have that plain scallop circle and you have this one with the holes or the um, circles around the outside. You have sort of this lacy doily effect. You have one with little hearts around the outside, one with little hearts around the inside, and this one is sort of the same. So I hope that answered the question of how to create something around the outside of that design. I'm sure, like I said, there's maybe other ways to do that. Um, this is one way that I know of. So let me know how that went for you. Um, do you have any questions about that? And if I just w was going to send these to the send panel. You can see that I have nice clean cut lines here to cut those out with. So I hope that helps. I hope that answered Darlene's question. Let me know in the comments below if you have any further questions about this technique or any of these tools in Silhouette Studio. Thanks for stopping by today and I hope you have a great day. Bye now.